public figure and lightning rod for controversy, Piers Morgan has made controversial claims and comments many times over the years as a journalist and TV show host. The Meghan Markle feud may be the most famous of them, but there have been plenty of examples of Morgan going too far. In 1995, Piers Morgan signed on as an editor to the Daily Mirror, but as The Guardian reported in 2004, he was ousted a little over eight years later for a serious photo debacle. The outlet explained, The paper said Morgan had left after falling prey to a calculated and malicious hoax which saw the paper print photos of British troops apparently abusing Iraqi detainees. In 2013, Morgan told Politico that he was axed because he didn't apologize for using the photos, saying he would if evidence came out that they were completely fake. I got fired, but I didn't believe half of the stuff that was being said about the, the, the circumstances behind my departure. I've never accepted necessarily those pictures were faked. According to The Guardian, Morgan unfortunately fell for a hoax, with publishing company Trinity Mirror stating that they had enough evidence to show that the horrendous photos were indeed fake. According to The Sun, during a segment on Good Morning Britain in January 2020, Morgan drew attention to meteorologist Laura Tobin's faux red leather pants. They're the most skin-tight leather hot pants I've seen in many a year. It's fashion. And you paraded them for your <laughs> seven-day... No, they... she was doing her job. However, Morgan didn't stop there. After reading a tweet from a viewer that called out his comments, Morgan continued to reference his colleagues' clothes, accusing Tobin of deliberately wearing provocative clothing in the hopes of being noticed, and questioned why it would be offensive for him to call her, quote, hot. Morgan's co-host, Susanna Reid, also called Piers out, saying, saying they're hot and sexualizing them is just one of those examples of when you've gone a little bit too far. As The Sun noted, Reid also added that, quote, people don't want to be objectified at work. While Tobin looked uncomfortable during the exchange, she admitted in a tweet that she wasn't bothered by his brazen comments. Good Morning Britain was flooded with 300 Ofcom complaints after Piers Morgan was seen mocking the Chinese language on air, according to Metro. Morgan was discussing an advertisement for a Chinese milk brand that featured Queen Elizabeth's eldest grandson, Peter Phillips, with his co-host Susanna Reid when he said, But I only drink yang yang dong dong yang ming ming. Milk. Milk. Piers. I don't know the Chinese, but I only drink this one single. Reid let Morgan know that what he said wasn't appropriate, but he didn't let up, insisting that he was trying to mimic the advertisement. Viewers denounced Morgan on Twitter, with one tweet reading, I have no words. In 2020, I am still facing racial mockery like this in schools. Need I say more about how ignorant pomposity such as this is not funny and it perpetuates prejudice? The television host tried his best to defend his comments when he tweeted, I was mocking a member of the British royal family appearing in an advert for Chinese milk, not Chinese people. However, the amount of complaints received to Ofcom in just 24 hours should have been enough for him to realize his wrongdoing. ITV later issued an apology, saying Morgan's comments were meant to mock Phillips and not Chinese people, according to Yahoo News. In 2017, Piers Morgan faced backlash among Twitter users when he tweeted, 34 million UK adults are mentally ill? What utter nonsense. Man up, Britain, and focus on those who really need help. Along with an article by iNews that highlighted the high number of young people experiencing mental illness. A number of people found his tweet problematic, calling out his outdated views on the serious issue of mental health. As Digital Spy noted, this tweet went up during Mental Health Awareness Week in the UK. Former soccer player Stan Collymore appeared on Good Morning Britain to open up about his battles with depression and to confront the host over his controversial comment. He said that when people are told to toughen up rather than being encouraged to speak to someone about their mental health problems, it could lead to situations where they find themselves too far along to get the help they needed earlier. He went on to reference a fellow soccer player who died by suicide, adding, we don't want people to get to that state. This was also not the first time Morgan has shared his controversial views on mental health. In a tweet in 2017, the television host referred to mental health as some kind of trend. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, please contact the Crisis Text Line by texting HOME to 741741 or call the National Alliance on Mental Illness Helpline at 1-800-950-NAMI 6264.
Piers Morgan is no stranger to Twitter feuds and waged war on actor Susan Sarandon when he made inappropriate comments about the ensemble she wore while presenting the In Memoriam segment at the 22nd Annual Screen Actors Guild Awards in 2016. The stepmom star wore a white suit over a visible black bra, and Morgan was not a fan, deciding to take to Twitter to give his dismissive opinion on the actor's choice of wardrobe. Sarandon laughed off Morgan's comments while appearing on Late Night with Seth Meyers, stating, Does he have a job, a real job? Why does he have so much time? Currently, this might be the closest that, thing he has. He's, he's doing something again today. He can't stop. I don't think his mother nursed him. The actor also had a few words to say to Morgan on Twitter, firing back with a tweet with a picture taken from a scene from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Several women came to Sarandon's defense and tweeted photos flashing their cleavage to chastise the journalist, according to ET. Sarandon later told the outlet, I love the solidarity of women that came forward. I was very happy that all the gals came forward. Piers Morgan found a way to upset several Olympians during the 2016 Rio Olympics when he tweeted about how he didn't care about silver or bronze medals and that winning a gold was the only thing that mattered. So not only was Morgan finding enemies among celebrities, but professional athletes as well, who certainly did not keep quiet after he sent out his insulting tweet. Olympian swimmer Daniel Fogg, who has represented Great Britain, tweeted his disagreement, saying Morgan didn't know all the work that goes into just making it to the Olympics. As HuffPost noted, Morgan's dismissive comments about not winning the top prize had Olympians from just about every sport chiming in, expressing their anger towards him. Two days before his gold medal rant, Morgan made a jab at the expense of sports shooter Ginny Thrasher. After Thrasher took home a gold medal of her own, he tweeted about how unsurprised he was that America's first gold of the Olympics involved shooting. Unsurprisingly, this tweet also didn't go over so well. Piers Morgan has been very outspoken about his dislike of vegans, so much so that he had no problem spitting out a vegan sausage while live on air on Good Morning Britain, dismissing it as fake, according to The Mirror. As the outlet noted, some GMB viewers were less than impressed with Piers' violent reaction, claiming he was making a mockery of the vegan role. It wouldn't be the last time the television personality would blast the vegan community. According to Evening Standard, Morgan was chastised for how heated he was when he spoke with Petter's UK director, Elisa Allen, calling her a hypocrite for telling people to stop eating meat, but not protecting bees and other insects that are killed for almond milk and avocados. Many viewers believed Morgan was bullying Allen during the interview after continually pressing her to answer his questions, according to the Evening Standard. Since receiving backlash from several people on Twitter, Morgan has gone as far as to say that he's been a victim of vegans, after food corporations like McDonald's and Pizza Hut hit back at Morgan after releasing vegan options on their menu, according to The Mirror. Writer and transgender activist Janet Mock made an appearance on Piers Morgan's CNN show, Piers Morgan Live, to discuss the release of her book, Redefining Realness, a memoir about Mock's struggles growing up as a trans woman in America. However, Morgan showed just how uneducated he was when it came to talking about the transgender community after he misgendered Mock during the interview and continually said that she used to be a man that had undergone gender reassignment surgery. Morgan even kept commenting on Mock's appearance, stating that he did not know she was transgender, he would never have thought that she had been a male at any point in her life, which meant that she must have always been a woman. After the interview, Mock met up with Morgan for a second time after calling him out on Twitter for his choice of words and the headlines displayed during the segment. As noted by HuffPost, Morgan refused to engage in a meaningful discussion with Mock as he continued to talk about her past, her physical appearance, and continued to argue over semantics. Morgan's comments in both of the interviews did not sit well with his viewers, with several people on Twitter calling him out for his tone defensiveness, as opposed to trying to learn from his mistakes. One tweet in particular branding his interview as an assault on Mock and other trans women. Piers Morgan has criticized a bunch of women in Hollywood, but this time the British television personality went on the attack after model and actor Emily Ratajkowski shared nude pregnancy photos on social media, according to Daily Mail. Ratajkowski shared several snapshots on Instagram of herself in her New York City home while pregnant with her baby, and Morgan felt obligated to share his thoughts on the nude pregnancy photo shoot trend. On an episode of Good Morning Britain, the journalist sarcastically congratulated Ratajkowski on the photo shoot, referring to her as a private person who decided to show private pictures of herself in an attempt to showcase the irony. He continued to mock Ratajkowski, eventually going on a rant about famous pregnant women doing nude photo shoots to show the natural evolution of birth, 
while also asking for privacy in their personal lives. He continued to complain about how fed up he was with it and mocked the practice, inferring that it started decades ago with Demi Moore. He then accused the women of his day of doing it now for nothing more than publicity's sake. Morgan has gotten into numerous arguments while debating whether or not photo shoots like these and others containing nudity are about female empowerment. Monetizing the objectification of women is now the embodiment of feminist empowerment. I think what, a, what, a, what a wonderful place you know we've reached for I, women. This isn't the first time Morgan targeted Ratajkowski. In 2016, he called out the model for posing topless, tweeting an attempt at a joke about how she must be cold without clothing. Then in 2018, Morgan used derogatory language towards her for posing in lingerie for a video for Love magazine. In 2016, Good Morning Britain viewers wanted to see a certain co-host punished for his actions after said co-host destroyed a £5 note live on TV. The new plastic banknotes were touted for their indestructibility, which led Piers Morgan to put them to the ultimate test. On live television, the host attempted to tear up the £5 note with his hands before finding success with his teeth. All the while, his co-host, Susanna Reid, looked on and appeared shocked by his actions, saying, I cannot believe you just did that. I'm not sure if that's even legal. After viewers watched Morgan tear up the banknote, several of them shared on Twitter that what he did could be against the law. According to the UK's Currency and Banknotes Act of 1928, it is illegal to deface banknotes by printing or writing words on them. However, there does not appear to be any law against destroying one. Morgan's actions still rubbed many viewers the wrong way, with tweets that read that they wanted to see Morgan put in jail, and one tweet that read, Given the type of audience that watches GMB may not have the luxury to rip up money, I think you should rethink doing it. In classic Piers Morgan fashion, the journalist took to Twitter to say that he'd be donating money to charity to make up for the money he tore up and any future notes that he might as well. Good Morning Britain viewers believed Piers Morgan went too far when he mocked then 16-year-old Swedish activist Greta Thunberg during a conversation about climate change protests in the UK. As HuffPost recapped, the morning host expressed outrage at activist group Extinction Rebellion after a photo showed them stopping at a McDonald's during their protests. Morgan stated that he believed that the activists were being hypocritical for stopping at the fast food restaurant because the restaurant mass produces beef and uses cardboard boxes for packaging. Morgan then took aim at Thunberg, famously known for challenging leaders to step up against climate change, wondering aloud how the trip to McDonald's sat with her. HuffPost reported that Morgan even went as far as to impersonate the young activist, imitating her speech at a previous UN Climate Action Summit mockingly twisting her words to make her sound as if she was only out for publicity. One Twitter user felt that Morgan hit a brand new low when he mocked a teenager with Asperger's, and another wrote about how the host was being a bully and that he should be ashamed. As noted by The Guardian, Thunberg has been outspoken about her Asperger's syndrome diagnosis, saying that she uses it to her advantage and that it helps her commit to fighting climate change. On a 2019 episode of Good Morning Britain, Piers Morgan attacked singer Sam Smith for using their non-binary identification as a publicity stunt, according to Pink News. Morgan appeared to grapple with Smith's gender identity, going as far as saying that they only made the announcement because it would potentially lead to an increase in boosted music sales. Disregarding his co-host, Susanna Reid, who tried to correct Morgan's use of pronouns, Morgan mocked Smith's decision repeatedly and struggled to understand what the demographic makeup of the country would be in the future. I'm now identifying as Sam Smith oh. so that I can get his royalties. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. this works both ways. <laughs> Morgan continued on the topic by proclaiming that coming out as non-binary is something the younger people are doing and likened it to a new trend, as Pink News reported. His rant ensued, stating that he would like to interview Sam Smith and ask him about the change, because Smith had publicly identified as a gay man in the past. Morgan also believed that he was in the right to call out Smith after they referred to themselves as a male in the song Stay With Me. Smith came out as non-binary in 2019 after speaking with actor Jamila Jamil on IGTV, sharing, I'm not male or female. I think I flow somewhere in between. It's all on the spectrum. Controversy surrounded Piers Morgan yet again when he responded to activist Mark Lamont Hill's All Black Lives Matter tweet with his own controversial take. According to The Independent, Morgan faced backlash for trivializing the Black Lives Matter movement after he sent out his tweet and claimed that Hill's statement only caused more division among races. Morgan added more tweets in an attempt to convey some sort of come-together message, then stated that white lives are also, quote, devalued. 
Morgan and Hill went back and forth on the social media platform, which saw Morgan continuing to defend his comments and lacking awareness of what was going on in the world. Many Twitter users called Morgan out for not understanding the meaning of the BLM movement in light of the several shootings and killings of innocent black men and women. The former Daily Mirror editor also drew attention to himself in 2017 after he published a column on Mail Online that suggested that white people should be allowed to say the N-word. The television personality angered a number of people who took to Twitter, with one of them simply stating, Advice for your column. Edit. Select all. Delete. The devastating Manchester Arena bombing on May 22, 2017 left 22 people dead and around 800 people wounded after a suicide bomber detonated a bomb while fans were leaving an Ariana Grande concert in England, according to BBC. The day after the tragedy, Piers Morgan addressed the attack on Good Morning Britain, and as The Independent noted, his remarks were described as, quote, hate-mongering. During the episode, the TV show host talked about those who carry out terrorist acts and ignorantly singled out the Muslim community. At some point, there has to be a more concerted effort by the Muslim community, not just here, but in every country, to root out these people. These comments came up while he was interviewing soap stars Sally Dinover and Connie Hyde, who handled Morgan's statements admirably, with Hyde telling Morgan, I don't know if that comment is helping families affected today. I think this is anger and we should not think like that. Morgan dug his heels in and maintained that he believed he was right about anger being the correct emotion. Hyde and Dinover refused to go down that road with him, with Dinover also sharing her opinion on Morgan's irresponsible comments, stating, we cannot do that. This was just one individual. It's very rare and we cannot allow this to stop us. We have to carry on. Love has to come through, not hate. We have to remember all the good things people are doing and not concentrate on the hate. Piers Morgan took it upon himself to ignore an embargo and shared information on Twitter about how much BBC stars were earning per hour before the report was supposed to be published. Competitor networks had planned to break the news after the report was published, also highlighting the significant gap in pay between the top male and female talent. Morgan was chastised by members of the British press for his decision, including a notable tweet by Sky News political editor Beth Rigby calling Morgan disgraceful. Morgan replied to Rigby with his own condescending tweet, praising himself for scooping the report, even though all journalists received the same information. Morgan was simply the one who decided to break the rules. In the wake of widespread criticism, Morgan tweeted out a faux apology for being so, quote, good at my job. In 2016, Lady Gaga revealed that she had been struggling from post-traumatic stress disorder after being raped at the age of 19, according to Shape. This apparently did not sit well with Piers Morgan, who, in a series of tweets, questioned the musician's claims, believing she was only stating that she suffered from PTSD to gain more attention, while also questioning why she waited years to report the rape. While many people came to Lady Gaga's defense, the singer herself confronted Morgan on Twitter and discussed why people do not report their sexual assaults. She also agreed to sit down with the journalist to discuss her story. However, as of this video, the singer and Morgan have yet to sit down for a one-on-one. -on -one. To much surprise, Radio Times interviewed Morgan and asked him if there was a tweet that he regrets. Morgan confessed that he was too quick to judge Lady Gaga after admitting that anyone can suffer from PTSD and not just soldiers in the war, saying, I don't think I should have been quite so dismissive of everybody. I've got a lot of military in my family and PTSD is obviously a real problem if you come off a battlefield, but I do accept that you can have it in other forms. However, it doesn't appear that Morgan has made any efforts to apologize to Lady Gaga via Twitter. If you or someone you know has been the victim of sexual assault, you can call the National Sexual Assault Hotline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673 or visit rain.org for additional resources. Evidently, Piers Morgan did not understand the point of Little Mix's music video for the song Strip. As The Sun noted, when the group released some promotional shots featuring all four members posing naked, Morgan criticized them. The band painted insults on their skin to promote body positivity and celebrate women of all shapes and sizes. On Instagram, the women shared that they invited several women to be part of their strip music video to encourage everybody to be themselves. Morgan wasn't a fan, speaking out on an episode of Good Morning Britain and accusing the video of being a shallow act of self-promotion. The former X Factor winners Little Mix have become the latest stars to make a statement, a feminist statement of empowerment, by taking all their clothes off. 
According to Hart, instead of going back and forth with Morgan, the girl group decided to slam the on-air personality by airing a clip of him on stage during their Madrid show for their tour. The footage showed Morgan asking the women for an apology, challenging them to come on the show and say it to his face. And then the group launched into a rendition of their song, Wasabi. In 2019, Sea Life London Aquarium shared that they were raising a genderless penguin by a same-sex penguin couple. In a press release obtained by CNN, the aquarium stated that it, quote, was more natural for the chick to grow and develop into a mature adult as genderless, which is normal in the wild until they mature. The aquarium intended to include the chick in Sea Life London's breeding program after it reached maturity. This explanation didn't satisfy Piers Morgan, who took a few moments on an episode of Good Morning Britain to share his thoughts. As The Mirror noted, he raised his hands in the air and declared that he was identifying himself as a penguin. After Morgan insisted that he wanted to meet with the aquarium's penguin keeper, whose sanity he called into question, he went on to demand that he be allowed to live with the penguins in their enclosure. As pointed out by The Mirror, the official Good Morning Britain team appeared to have no issue with sending Morgan to live with the penguin, tweeting, PSA at Piers Morgan is now identified identifying as a penguin. At London Aquarium, feel free to come and collect him whenever you're ready. British rapper Dizzy Rascal found himself in an unwanted situation when he came on Good Morning Britain to discuss inventive ways musicians can continue to perform live for their fans amid the coronavirus. Instead, as MSN noted, he found himself in a confrontation with Morgan over questions regarding Black Lives Matter. The rapper was invited on the show to talk about how live concerts, usually filled with fans standing shoulder to shoulder, will be replaced by drive-in raves, fans at a safe distance between one another. In response, Morgan changed the subject completely when he asked the rapper his views on what the Black Lives Matter movement meant. Rascal wondered aloud why Piers would ask him about the subject, adding that he felt that it wasn't the appropriate time to speak on the matter. However, Morgan continued to press him, and Rascal responded, You know what, I'll watch you on tell you on, you never let no one speak, look, I'm not the one. You're not gonna do this to me, mate, not this morning. <laughs> so let's keep it calm. Morgan said the musician was aggressive with his response, while fans on Twitter praised Rascal for keeping his cool and avoiding a gotcha moment by Morgan. Piers Morgan hit an absolute low when he called Meghan Markle a liar after her revealing tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021, a conversation in which the Duchess of Sussex shared that she had suicidal thoughts during her time living at Kensington Palace. While on Good Morning Britain, Morgan stated his opinion live on air. I'm sorry, I don't believe a word she says, Meghan Markle. Well, it proved to be a disastrous and disgraceful move on Morgan's part. Not only did he receive the highest number of complaints to TV regulator Ofcom, but the backlash from viewers and the criticism from co-host Alex Beresford prompted Morgan to storm off the set of The Morning Show. It would be the last time viewers would get to see Morgan on Good Morning Britain, after the host decided to leave the programme for good, according to a statement from ITV. However, he still stood by his opinions on Markle, sending out a tweet doubling down on his opinion and claiming freedom of speech. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call or chat online with the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK-8255 or text HOME to the Crisis Text Line 741-741.